Hey guys, uh, so here's the video I've been, been meaning to do here all day. Uh, I already recorded something in the volume, or not the volume, but my, my mic, it wasn't picking anything up. Uh, so I'm using my laptop, not my normal recording stuff, so hopefully this sounds okay. Uh, I'm going to condense this down. Uh, let's see here. So what I'm going to be talking about is cheese trades or cheese edge. This is what's talked about in MPA uh, 2.0. I'm going to initially start with something that he, Naveen doesn't talk about, except in one of the webinars, which I found to be very powerful when I was trading London uh, session cheese, and it was working very well for me. Um, not saying like, but we'll get into it. Um, another thing, just a uh, state real quick I'm by no means an expert um, and if any of the other admins want to add something on you know maybe I'm doing something wrong feel free but this is how I view the cheese edge um, as of what I've got from the courses uh, another question that was brought up is which one should I focus on MPA 1.0 or 2.0 it's the same thing guys uh, the only difference is how they describe certain things. MPA 1.0, they don't really give you an edge. They just teach you the tools and then they tell you, oh, you can trade any time frame, which is true. Uh, 2.0, he's Naveen's actually taking that and telling you how to trade a specific edge, which to me, it, it, when it works best in London, when I say it works best in London, you have a, there's more options. Uh, it's more of a, like a London breakout strategy. Um, but yeah, you can go that way, no point. Um, one of the big things is you have to understand, this isn't like, oh, we're looking, okay, we're looking for a pattern of V formation, trail, hit the buy. You gotta understand the story. Okay, where did this V formation, or where does 100% digestion occur? Okay, uh, so, oh, man, again. Um, nope, don't wanna do that. Uh, so we'll, we will get into that, okay? All right, so first thing, what we want to know, okay, we have, we need a session break. And what I like to see during Asia, when I'm trading London, when it's most successful, this also could be during, you want to trade New York, so basically you want to see a, a range during Asia and London, right? So we have a range. This is the high of Asia, low of Asia, and I'm looking at uh, the, the view. You can think of this as the view on the uh, three minutes. Okay? So trading time frame. Here's when London opens. So what we want to see is boom. Now this move could be like this. You know, ideally we want to see a nice strong move. You know, this is like straight horizontal down. It's probably never going to be like that, but you don't want to see something that's like this, you know, barely breaking. And I'll, I'll show a better example here in a minute. All right? Okay. So this move is at least double, if not triple, the size of that range. That means there's a lot of power behind this session break. And this is London. breaking Asia. A lot of power behind it, okay? What we want to avoid, uh, and this right, this doesn't have to be, this could be when New York opens and Asia and London look like this. That does happen on occasion. It's a lot harder to find and for everything to match up, uh, but it does happen, okay? All right, so what you want to avoid is you have a big range, it could still be a tight range, you know, not very, not much volatility, but just to harp the point. And then what happens is something like this, right? Very small break compared to the size of this range. And this is either going to come up and stay, now it could go, it'll either just go to the most recent low or it's going to turn around. Okay. I've seen this time and time again. Uh, right? Doesn't mean you can't trade that. Right? 
say you're the fundamental if you trade with the fundamentals and the fundamentals saying you know are agreeing with you say this is um, CAD JPY and JPY is strong right fundamentally and you see this and it doesn't break above the breach line and hold just remember it's pro it, it could go it could go depending if this is an eclipse trade which is something from IGP but I'd be looking most recent low and granted this is a horrible drawing representation but hopefully you guys get my point okay so I look for something like this strong break of a session okay so that's all the theory that I want to show and then I'm going to show some examples here um, okay so first one here is uh, can't remember how many I did uh, there's a couple during obviously Asia session here this is this would be a prime example if you're trading New York okay let's start with this one though Australian USD all right what we see we see a range right and we see this break okay what is this break compared so this one is pretty dang close right these are acceptable trades and you can see this one actually went on right so it's probably a higher time frame stepping in okay and you can see I already have drawings right but I, I measure the moves okay that's how I gauge and also the, the this isn't like it's coming out like this right it's it's straight down volume is above the moving average on the break all right that's good all right and then volume kind of drops when it starts pulling back okay so if we drop down to our trading time frame some of the question is people not understanding how to gauge the momentum this one is a bit tricky okay so price is coming down right and maybe I should get out the drawing tool right price is coming down right and then it starts going the other way and basically it, it breaches above here right which is a good sign this means okay we're kind of making a higher high so this on the lower time frame people are turning buyers right that's what we want to see these ones this one is kind of tricky this digestion happened look at this big boy steps in a lot of volume 100 percent digestion right this is where it started 100 percent here's the thing what we want to see next is nothing go above this right and hold and we want to see how that final push there's always a final push that's something from mpa 1.0 2.0 they just say you know you look for the range in this case right we see kind of a, a push up and then wicks right wicks all right it's holding below this this right had the rest a couple times coming up compared to this strong move down right the slope on this is much more prominent than this move up right so basically those buyers are struggling right and then what happens they start ranging here this would be the money spot you'd want to take this as close as you can up here ideally uh, ideally you'd want to get in up here right you see this maybe drop down to a lower time frame you see that it's holding this would be a time to get in if not you see this is ranging you try to get in at the top of the range you can still make a decent profit and then depending on you know <laughs> how good you are at, uh, at uh, holding positions you might be able to make it all the way through this I, I don't know if I would have been able to um, I probably would have saw that come up here and I probably just exit that low or close to it to be honest uh, always got to be honest with yourself in trading right you can't say oh yeah I would have taken it down there you never know ideally you know you probably if you fall in paid 1.0 maybe this would have been next is kind of ranging or down here you kind of see it's ranging if you can hold it through there maybe you're looking at a higher time frame and you notice okay this actually has more to go down okay all right that was the first example um, let's look at 
Another example, here is an example if you're trading, uh, is it this one? Yeah, so you're trading um, trading, uh, I'm sorry, I lost my words here. <coughs> sorry, trading uh, a New York session, okay? New York session open. What you wanna see is the Asia session and the London session ranging. You don't wanna see some move that was a break of, you know, the previous New York, right? And I'll show an example of that right now, just so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, do, 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 this right here, okay? Oh, sorry about that. And that is a bummer. All right, um, this one here. All right, what you have the low of New York, boom, Asia breaks it. However, you don't want to be looking, I mean, you can still jump in, but the, the move is already going, right? The key is you want to find these fresh moves, right? Where it's ranging and then it's popping either side or bre breaching either side of that range, okay? This here was, you had, you know, a move up and then basically it turned into a downtrend that broke these, and then continuation, broke these lows, All right? Went up, pulled back, deep, couldn't make a higher high and it went, right? Ideally, yes, you could have gotten in here. It's not very clean, right? You can agree it's not very clean. A lot of chop, okay? So avoid that. Here though, you can see it has been ranging. And then, right, if you take, right, it's been ranging. Price hasn't moved very much, right? And then all of a sudden we, we get a pop. Now this isn't the best, right? Ideally, this is better. Um, however, this did have some increased volume uh, as it opened, and then it starts pulling back, right? So if we measure that move, not the best. This is not the best example, but what I found with the trading New York, you don't really get the best examples. So you could be, okay, maybe that's not your pullback. Up, if you, that's your pullback, then yeah, this is a great move. Look at that, okay? So it just depends on how you did it. This is gonna be quick to get in. Doesn't mean you can't. We're about to look at it here, okay? All right, so here's how I look at this one. This comes up, starts coming back, right? Your rubber man, man, comes up blasts up again, pulls back, and then breaks down below this. This isn't, so if you want to look at this as mini breaches or whatever, it kind of holds below, right? So then who's the guy that started that? Right there. Okay. Held below, then it comes up, challenges that guy who, who, who started it, never went below this, right? Came down strong though, all right, and popped it right back up and then kind of wiggled its way down and then we had this engulfing. So here, you can think of this as, let's just do it this way. Your money spot, right? It's a tough one um, to get in, it's quick. Might've been looking here, but again, you're near this. So maybe you have an inclination that this is going to go higher. Another way to do it is you get in over here, right? Where you have a breach below here. Boom, right? Breach here. Oop. Breach here. Oh, man, I hate this. Let's try this again. Breach here. Right, guy who started is here, ish. Right. Um, 
However, if you're looking at it this way, you probably wouldn't get in until up here, right? Because you don't have another breach below here. It's not really probing, right? Uh, so another way to look at this, which is digestion or uh, the way I like to look at it now, um, this, you consider this one whole move, right? This is one whole move. It started here. It started here, right? It took it down to here. Alright, so that's the low. Alright, it popped. And then you had to move the swing high up. We're well, not swing high, but you had to swing up, right? And digestion wise, okay, that's like 50, around 50%. Okay, so you have a high here now, right? Okay, then that move going down took you here, and it never made a lower low. This is lunch in New York, okay? It just range, never made a lower, never went below this guy, right? And then we had another move up, right? That broke and challenged this high, right? And then what did it do? Uh, ideally, you want to see it a final push. Final, we had a final push with the immediate, you know, again, another 100%, and then it held above this line, right? Testing this area. This would be a good place to get in. Put your stops here. It's, it's not the best trade if you're going to the most recent high. Again, maybe you have an inclination. It's going to go higher, right? Or you run a tighter stop. Or you just don't take this trade. It's one of those those options. Uh, sorry, we're not shorting, right? Looking to get in here-ish. You can, you know, if you're risky, you put it here. You can get a nice return here. Ideally, like below this, you know, the low, this one low there, uh, right? You know, that's not a good return. So again, it depends on your risk tolerance. If you're pretty sure, okay, this is holding. Yeah, you can put, you know, here. Or if you use ATR, you might get a better can't really read it because I have a recording thing here. You might get a better, you know, risk to reward ratio. Um, but that's that's another way to look at it. You could do that here too, right? Push down, right? It pulled up, and then it pushed down again and broke it. Kind of held here, and then we had another move up, right? Which broke that uh, high there, and then it came down. Never went below that low. That's all it is on the digestion, right? But you got to understand. The key is on the pullback, you want to know, okay, did the people who were, in this case, the buyers, the retail buyers, did they turn sellers yet? The big boys not, right? Did they turn sellers, right? So on the pullback, you don't just want something that is, uh, I'm sorry, wrong way, like this immediate you know one candle down one candle up or something like that you know very fast like this this isn't a pullback could you get in here yeah if you're quick enough you could get in here but we we want to know that okay here okay they've probably turned into sellers right this looks a lot different on the one one minute this area right here okay then our big boy stepped up, right? Final push, you can go, right? Um, yeah, so I hope this helps um, some people. This is kind of how I, I see things. There's a couple examples there, uh, depending on you know what I look for, depending on what session I'm trading. Again, I find cheese the best with with London you'll get a lot of moves that look like this and or a lot stronger moves uh, you can also trade uh, the Asia session again what you want to see is New York ranging right this would not be a good one right because you have to see the low here the highs above there it doesn't really happen right a lot of times if there's still a move going on in the New York you're gonna get an Asia range it's kind of what I've noticed
Um, here's an exception, but you had a strong move down. Uh, I think another example here is in the Euros. Um, is it the Euro? Oh, yeah, New Zealand's, I think. Yeah, New Zealand. Right. It's kind of ranging here. And then you had a strong move up, right? I've already measured it. This is an example I was in another video that there was no volume. I'm sorry. Uh, right. This is a good move. But this occurred, right? The, the break was of New York. New York was kind of ranging here. It wasn't doing much. It's not like, you know, this, right? We think of a range. Basically, we just want to see price hold within a tight range. It's not physically um, this, you know, oh, shoot, not physically this, right? I think sometimes we think it should be like that. They, you know, people draw these things like, oh, yeah, it, move. Yeah, it, it kind of moves like that. That's just a graphical representation, okay? Uh, so you just... I know this is probably, probably doesn't help. It, you're probably thinking of this interpretation, but if you look for session breaks where you have strong moves like that, and then look for a pullback, um, and you know you keep keep posting those those trades that are found, but start looking for breaks of sessions that are where the the price is holding within a tight range, and then when it breaks, when you have a breach, you know you're getting something that's like double the size, right? or it's larger than than the breach and it's holding above the breach okay all right i hope that helps guys um let me know if you have any questions thanks